Hello and welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I am Stevie B. I am glad you guys are here with me. As always, we have plenty of hater juice. Ah, plenty of nasally allergies going on and plenty of smokes. For all the haters that are out there. Guys, I'm still on Cyrene. I'm actually about to head back to Calypso to do a resupply run. I wanted to make a short video before I do. I actually already recorded this one, so this is going to be my second shot at it because I just didn't like the way the first one came out. But we're here on Cyrene. I'm at the Trillion Docks. So notice it's literally docks that are floating in the middle of water here. So I will pull up my map. And I will let you guys see where it is. This far right island with the two starter teleporters is just to the south of that, just barely south, right there. So guys, before we get into the game, I've got some very important things I want you guys to be very aware of. I think it's worth taking a moment to talk about. So the first is that today somebody called me and I discovered a new thing that I did not know existed. It's called Outside. So guys, this is very, very large. It's very, very scary. I do not recommend you experience it even a little bit. Again, it's called Outside. Very large, very scary. Entropia is so much safer. That's all I can say about that. Um, so, moving on from that little warning. I know everybody's kind of upset about coronavirus. Guys, I found out today, official test results, not a single avatar in Entropia has the coronavirus. Now, we do expect that number to go up. We do not expect it to go up a lot. It's only going to go up to like one, maybe two, and that's probably going to be Hunting Pro and Purple Dong. But for now, possibly Kinozuki. But for now, everybody is coronavirus free. So guys, the reason I want to... Yes, those were jokes if you could not tell. Uh, the reason I wanted to make this video today is because you have probably seen somebody running around with this bad boy right here, the Maze Hammer. So let's check it out. It is a weapon. It is unlimited. And it is a club. There are not a lot of clubs in game, uh, which is kind of weird. You would think there would be more, but clubs are melee. But there's a lot of swords, there's a lot of knives, there's not a ton of clubs. So notice it's unlimited, meaning it can be repaired. It's got 5 ped TT value, and it only does 3 damage per second. Now I'm already maxed out on mine, even though I just got it. 57.3% efficiency, not horrible. 22 uses a minute, 4 to 8 damage interval, all that good stuff. But here's the important part right here. Effects when equipped, increases run speed by 10%. This, guys, is the point of the video. It's the reason that so many new players want this weapon, and it's a reason a lot of people come to Cyrene in the first place. So, when you have it equipped, when you're physically holding it in your hand, it increases your own speed by 10%. This is why a lot of times you see new players holding it, not using it to kill anything, but just actively running with it in their hand. It's because it makes them run faster. Now, run speed does cap out. If I go down here and I hover over my run buff, You'll notice in the bottom right hand of my screen that an item can only increase your run speed 25%. An action, like a pill or a special buff from a wave boss, can increase your run speed 35%. However, you can only have a total run speed increase of 50%. So the ring that I have, my Summer 17 ring, it already increases my run speed 25%. So if I were to equip the Maze Hammer, I would get an extra 3% run speed, but then anything over that would not count. So I will show you what that looks like. Let's go ahead and equip. So now that it's equipped, let's check out the bottom right again. Notice I now have a 32% run speed over 25%, and it's got a little red exclamation point next to it. That means I am currently exceeding the maximum. So I'm currently capped at a 25% run speed. So you're not going to be able to tell a huge difference between my normal run speed and this run speed because it is only 3%. But if you were to be side by side with me with a new player that had no run speed buffs, it would definitely be noticeable. So when you first come into the docks, there's a couple of NPCs. But the guy you want to talk to, you, you have to come over this way. And then you have to go back over this way. You have to snag up the teleporter. He's actually right over here. This guy in blue. So, I went left, that way I could snag the teleporter, but I could have just come straight and ran right into him. So this guy right here is Maze Weaver Ricky. So when you click on Maze Weaver Ricky, he's the one that offers you the Maze Hammer. Now it does cost 50,000 shrapnel, but guys, that's only 5 ped. Remember, there's 10 ped in a dollar, so it's 50 cents for this item. It is an account-bound item. 
it cannot be traded it cannot be sold now here's the weird thing i noticed whenever i i did this just a while ago and got my first mace hammer he will actually sell me another one in 24 hours which seems weird i don't see why you would possibly need more than one because it's an unlimited weapon you can just repair it so then i noticed that this guy over here maze weaver ricardo has a mission where if you have extra as long as you have more than one you have to keep one but he will give you fifty thousand shrapnel for all the extras that you have so i'm assuming this was some from some previous version update of the game where something was wrong or maybe you needed more and there was a special mission and i don't know about it but you really only need one so don't worry about the fact that Ricky over here tells you you can get one every 24 hours. You really only need one. So while you're here, once you've got the Maze Hammer, you should come speak to this guy. Maze Weaver Rain. Now the reason being is Rain gives you a mission that allows you to get into the maze. There's an actual maze that you can run. So in order to access the maze, you need to go to this teleporter right here that I've, I've got in red. It's Desert Plains, I believe, teleporter. And this little square thing next to it, the little purple square on my map, that is the actual maze. So there is a drawing online that shows you what the maze looks like. It is pretty complex, but it's not so complex. You can't run it fairly easily if you just look at the map. So the reason you want to do this, guys, is as you run the maze, you will be rewarded with maze certificates. Once you have 200 of them, you can come talk to these NPCs over here. And you will be able to summon a special pet that is tameable. So let's go talk to Raquel. Maze Weaver Raquel here. I just wanted to give you the rundown on what happens here. Go help my friends once you've got your maze hammer from Ricky. Go to the Desert Ruins teleporter and traverse the maze. Collect Maze Weaver certificates and you can trade 200 of them to my pal here and you can try and catch a pet. A Wolpertinger. Wolpertinger. Say that three times fast. Wolpertinger, Wolpertinger, Wolpertinger. It's pretty sweet. Got it? So it looks like a little rabbit with wings. If you've ever seen the little rabbit with bat wings pet, that's it. They can go from anywhere from 100 ped up to 250 ped. It, it's kind of all over the place, but 100 ped is the one that I commonly see quoted, although I have seen them go for more than that. So I'm sure collecting 200 Maze Weaver certificates is not easy, but if you're going to be on Cyrene, it's worth doing because it's pretty cool to have a pet that a lot of other people don't have, right? So little added tidbit there. So once you've talked to all these NPCs, once you've got the teleporter over here, talk to Ricky, got your Maze Hammer, get these missions, and then in a future video, we will actually check out the maze. I'll run it for you guys. I'll post links on where you can get the map of the maze, all that good stuff. Um, there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do here on Cyrene, so I've got a lot of content that I will be making. Uh, there's a drop-down menu on the teleporter that allows you to access a place called the Hub. I could do an entire video series just over the Hub, and I probably will. But if you're a new player, you know, I told you guys about the Pleak Wings, uh, kind of like farming Calypso bone samples. I told you about that in another video. But getting the Maze Hammer is definitely something I suggest for new players, because if you're going to be traveling on foot... If you're going to be running around Calypso or other planets trying to collect teleporters and stuff, this is a great way to do it and get a little bit of extra run speed out, right? Um, plus, there's times when you just need to run a little bit faster, so this can definitely, definitely help you out. People who don't have better run speed don't understand what a huge difference it makes. If I had to take off all my rings and everything and go back to just normal run speed, it would be hellacious to try and play this game uh, because I'm so used to not having to do that, right? So guys, I'm going to leave it there for now. I will be doing more videos over Cyrene. I really love the past couple of days here. As you guys know, I've had to slow down a little bit on the video output due to real life commitments. And I don't like doing that because I'm just so exhausted by the time I get home every night. I, I literally pass out, get up and repeat. So I really have to find a good time frame for me to sit down and actually be able to make good content for you guys. Um, before we end the video, I will let you guys know I did find out new information about the upcoming Ancient Greece shares that I told you guys were going to be horrible. It's worse than previously expected. No, Mindark is not taking control of Ancient Greece or Next Island. So essentially, the development team is just trying to get paid for doing nothing for years on end. So here's the deal, guys. There's going to be 750,000 shares, and it's only going to be 50% of the income from Ancient Greece. So to put that into perspective, Crystal Palace was 500,000 shares. 
So ancient Greece is going to be 50% more shares. Crystal Palace was 100% of the income, and ancient Greece is only going to be half. Here's the problem, guys. Crystal Palace was already popular. It was already profitable. Having the IPO did not suddenly make it popular and profitable. It already was. Ancient Greece is neither popular nor profitable. There is some amount of activity on Ancient Greece at the moment because of the wave event and the new armor and stuff like that. That will die down. Right now what you're seeing is you're seeing a lot of high-end players who aren't in it for profit, who just want to be the first to have stuff, right? Once that dies down, it's not going to be profitable to continue doing it over and over and over. It will actually be cheaper to just buy the special armor perfected, since it is not account bound supposedly, than it will be to go farm it. Also, the fact that they have said, the next island development team has said, this armor is not account bound, does not give me any faith that it's not account bound. Because remember, they told us that Lord Pets would have auto loot, and then a week later after the event said, oh, we screwed up, it doesn't. So, I fully expect they could go, well, we said it was account bound, but we screwed up, or it wasn't account bound, but we screwed up, and oh, look it is, so you can't sell it, you can't trade it, you wasted a ton of money, thank you, goodbye, piss off. That's what they do, right? Um, they were trying to brag, well, you know, we're selling 750,000 shares, they're 10 pet a share, so that's $750,000, but we've got a new wave event, and seven new creatures, and blah, 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 so $100,000 a creature, are you kidding me? I read through the entire list of things they upgraded and, and did to, to Ancient Greece, most professional developers, most professional programmers wouldn't get paid five hundred to a thousand dollars for those changes, and they're expecting to get paid seven hundred fifty thousand. I'm going to say it one more time, and I'm not going to say it again. Stay the hell away from ancient Greek shares. They're not going to go anywhere. The little bit of activity that is there right now is not going to be the level of activity that will be there in the future. After this little mania of trying to get the armor and get the tokens for the estates dies down, once the IPO actually happens, what's going to end up happening is the shares are going to drop in value. There might be a few payouts at first, but then they will get further and further in between. There will be very few to no players on Ancient Greece, very little to no income. I, w I expect maybe there's a couple, two, three payouts in the first couple of months after the IPO from the wave events and people going to explore, but after that, it's going to go to nothing. Literally nothing. I'll be surprised if these shares pay once or twice a year after that, and the price will go from the 10 ped IPO down to virtually 1 or 2 ped, if they're lucky. It's going to be just like Arcadia Moon. They might not even sell out the IPO for a solid year. It might take a solid 2 to 3 years just for them to sell out the IPO, which is not good because obviously if you buy at the IPO and then you want to sell, how are you going to sell when the IPO never ends, right? Same thing we've got with Arcadia Moon. People bought in. There was a few payments at first, and they were pretty decent because people were exploring. Then the payments started dropping off, getting further and further in between. The difference is Arcadia Moon has a development team behind it that does actively develop and has good relations with the player base. Next Island is a development team that never develops shit, and then when they do, they make it where they expect to get paid $750,000 for it. You watch, it's a money grab, and then Ancient Greece is going right back in the toilet. They're not going to actively continue developing it like you would need to to actually have a profitable share system. So guys, I'm going to leave it there for right now. I will be back with more videos over Cyrene specifically, and some more that are specific to Cali in the next couple of days. Please bear with me. I will keep pumping them out as fast as I can. We're still getting new players in Entropia. We're still seeing older players come back. That's what I love to see. Um, I am a bit behind on my private messages, but I am trying to get caught up, guys. Life has just been very, very hectic. But I will keep pumping them out as, as long as they're helping people. We greatly appreciate everybody who's been supporting us. Most of you are supporting us by going to earnped.com, and you're earning, and when you earn, we earn, and we greatly, greatly appreciate that more than I can tell you. We also appreciate every single subscriber. We're getting closer and closer to our subscriber goals every single day, and I can't tell you guys what that means to me either. Also, every time you hit that like button, it does us a tremendous amount of good. We greatly appreciate it. I know there's a small patch of trolls that continues to hit the dislike button. Nothing we can do about that, guys. And I'm not here for the trolls. I'm here for you. I'm here for the people who want to learn, who want to play better, and want, who want to share the love of Entropia with me I, and with their friends and with their family. That's why I do this is for the love of the game. I want you guys to have just as good of an experience in Entropia as the biggest players with the most knowledge there is. So any way I can help you guys get a little bit of edge on the game, I try and do that. Stay tuned for more important videos coming. There's been a lot of stuff happening in Entropia. Way too much to cover in one video. 
I will try and pump out several videos over the next couple of days if I can physically stay up to it. Uh, I'm sure we'll have plenty more smoke, smacks, and hater juice for all the haters over there. I do have some things coming to earnped.com in the very near future. Keep an eye out there too. I've just got a lot on my plate at the moment and I've got some big stuff I'm working on that's going to be announced fairly quickly. Um, probably in the next couple of days. So between everything, I'm just kind of trying to keep my head above water while at the same time still making it fun, right? A uh, little bit of good news. I did loot my first ESI today. So I never looted an ESI before. You guys know I usually hunt lower level creatures. I was here on Sirene. I was hunting Mang Chang and I missed it when it actually happened. But I checked my inventory afterward and I had an ESI that I did not have before. So I've officially looted my first ESI. It was 10.22 ped. So big shout out to Mindark on that one and the Sirene development team. Much, much appreciated. Uh, there's some really cool missions and some really cool stuff here on Sirene. I will show you guys in upcoming videos. But for now, I'm going to leave it there. As one little last surprise, I now have a new pet. I'm not usually big on pets, but uh, I'm definitely a huge fan of little bitty robot horse. It's just the cutest little robot horse in the world. It's an Eret. Only found on Sirene. Obviously, he's got to be level 7 before I can take him to other planets. But I figured while I was here, I might as well grab one. They're pretty easy to find. They are really, really close to where I am now. I'm sure we'll feature them in another video. But it was actually super easy to tame. It was not hard at all. So let's leave it there for now, guys. We really appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate all the love, all the support that I've heard from everybody. Uh, I know I made a joke earlier, but guys, seriously, best practices. Don't touch your face. Wash your hands. Stay away from big crowds if you can. Because this coronavirus thing, I'm not taking it super serious yet, but at the rate it is spreading the, the way it's looking, I don't think it's as big as they're making it out to be in the media. At the same time, I think it could overtake what they're making it out to be in the media very quickly. So just better to be aware of, of what's going on in the world around you, right? You don't want to be caught off guard. Like I said, outside is scary. It is large. Stay inside. Play Entropia. You'll be safe. You'll be healthier, and you'll have more fun that way. From everybody at EarnPet.com, I've been Stevie B. We'll leave it there for now, and we'll be back with another video for you guys very soon. Thank you all, and we hope that you continue to learn and earn. You guys take care.